Can you imagine a supercomputer that can fit on your desk? Sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, right? But hey, NVIDIA has just announced an AI supercomputer called Project Digits that is not only small enough to fit on your desk but also powerful enough to run those massive AI models. It's like moving an Iron Man Jarvis directly into your home. Isn't that cool? In the past, we always thought that supercomputers were large devices that required a room to accommodate them, like those used by NASA or research centers. But now, NVIDIA says, no, we want to shrink it down to a level that ordinary people can use. Imagine sitting at home, sipping coffee, and using this small supercomputer to train AI models, design 3D scenes, and even do things that only professional laboratories could accomplish before. This is not just a technological upgrade, but a truly revolutionary leap. Has anyone ever thought about what the future of AI will look like? Or rather, how powerful are the two cutting-edge products recently released by NVIDIA, Project Digits and the RTX 50 series GPUs? Will these technologies become the new standard for future AI research and industrial applications? To put it simply, these new products are like equipping the AI field with rocket boosters. For example, Project Digits is a desktop AI supercomputer that can run models with up to 200 billion parameters, allowing you to accomplish tasks at home that previously required a data center. The RTX 50 series GPUs, on the other hand, are performance monsters designed specifically for creators, gamers, and AI developers, not only doubling the speed but also supporting the latest AI generation technologies. Don't these things sound cool? But what changes can they actually bring? Today, let's talk about it. All right. Let's talk about the highlights of NVIDIA's NVIDIA press conference at CES 2025. This press conference can really be described as explosive. CEO Jensen Wong, wearing his iconic black leather jacket and exuding a strong sense of technology, stood on stage to announce two major products. First, there is a personal AI supercomputer called Project Digits. Sounds cool, right? It is equipped with the latest Grace Blackwell chip, powerful enough to run AI models with 200 billion parameters. In simple terms, this small supercomputer is like condensing a data center onto your desktop. You can use it to train AI, fine-tune models, and even perform real-time inference, all without relying on the cloud. Moreover, it starts at a price of $3,000 and will be available for purchase in May 2025. Then, there is the brand new RTX 50 series GPU, which is a boon for gamers and AI developers. The flagship model RTX 5090 has more than doubled the performance of the previous generation and supports the latest DLSS 4 technology, allowing game graphics and frame rates to reach cinematic levels. Whether playing games or doing 3D creation, this graphics card can handle it with ease. Jensen Wang also mentioned that these technologies are not just for individual users, but also to promote the development of the entire AI industry. He said this marks the transition of AI from the cloud to the desktop, and will also accelerate the application of physical AI in manufacturing and logistics, such as automated factories and smart warehousing. Doesn't it sound very futuristic? All right, now let's continue to delve into NVIDIA's NVIDIA Blockbuster product released this time, Project Digits, which is their latest personal AI supercomputer. We just mentioned that it is equipped with the GB10 Grace Blackwell Superchip, which has performance so powerful that it is astonishing. But behind these technical details, there are more interesting stories and data. So let's take a look together. First of all, the core of this machine, the GB10 Grace Blackwell Superchip, is not just powerful, it is also particularly smart. It combines NVIDIA's latest Blackwell GPU and Grace CPU. The latter equipped with 20 efficient cores based on ARM architecture, jointly developed by NVIDIA and MediaTek. This design achieves a perfect balance between performance and energy efficiency. For example, it is like a supercar that can both speed and save fuel being both fast and environmentally friendly. Speaking of its computing power, this small machine can achieve AI performance of one petaflop, one quadrillion floating point operations. What does this mean? It is equivalent to several thousand times the performance of a typical computer at home. Moreover, it supports running large language models with up to 200 billion parameters, such as complex AI models like ChatGPT. In the past, models of this scale could only run in large data centers, but now you can handle it at home with this small machine. Isn't that cool? Not only that, Project Digits also pays special attention to user experience. It is equipped with 128 gigabytes of unified memory and up to 4 terabytes of NVM storage, making it easy to handle massive amounts of data. Moreover, if you feel that one machine is not enough, you can connect two machines using NVIDIA ConnectX networking technology to run models with up to 405 billion parameters. It's like two supercars teaming up to sprint to the finish line. 
What's even more interesting is that this supercomputer is not only powerful but also very energy efficient. It only needs to be plugged into a regular power source to operate, without requiring a specialized data center environment. What does this mean? You can place it on your desk, as easily as putting a Mac Mini. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang even joked that this machine is small enough to be placed next to a coffee cup. Finally, it also comes pre-installed with the complete NVIDIA software ecosystem, including the Nemo framework, Rapids library, and support for commonly used tools like PyTorch and Jupyter. These tools enable AI researchers, data scientists, and even students to quickly get started, seamlessly completing everything from model prototyping to deployment. In short, Project Digits is not just a supercomputer, but more like a magic tool tailored for AI developers. Whether it's performance, scalability, or ease of use, it is impressive. So, do you think this machine, priced at $3,000, will become the standard configuration for future AI development? Next, let's talk about NVIDIA's latest released RTX 50 series GPUs, especially the flagship model RTX 5090, which is currently one of the most powerful graphics cards on the market. If you are a gamer, 3D designer, or AI developer, this graphics card may become your new favorite. First of all, this graphics card is based on the latest Blackwell architecture, which can be described as the super engine of the graphics card world. The RTX 5090 is equipped with an astonishing 32GB of GDDR7 memory, which is a full double the speed of the previous generation GDDR6X. Its memory bandwidth reaches 1.8TB per second, 1792GB per second which is twice that of the RTX 4090. To put it in perspective, it's like upgrading your home's water pipe from regular flow to a high-pressure jet, making data processing speeds astonishingly fast. What does this mean? Imagine playing a hardware-demanding game like Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K resolution with ray tracing enabled throughout, achieving a frame rate of 240 FPS with ease. The visual details are so realistic that you might doubt you are watching an interactive movie. Moreover, this performance is also applicable to other popular games, such as Alan Wake 2 and Black Myth, Wukong. Secondly, NVIDIA has introduced the brand new DLSS 4 technology for the RTX 50 series. Simply put, this is an AI-driven technology for enhancing image quality and performance. It introduces multi-frame generation, which can generate additional frames through AI, significantly improving game smoothness. For example, you might have only achieved 60 frames while playing a Plague Tale. Requiem on the RTX 4090, but now with the RTX 5090 and DLSS 4, you can easily reach 120 frames or even higher. Moreover, it can reduce latency, making your controls more responsive. More importantly, the RTX 5090 is not only friendly to gamers but also a great boon for creators. This graphics card has up to 21,760 CUDA cores, 5th generation Tensor cores, and 4th generation RT cores. Its AI computing power reaches an astonishing 33.52 trillion operations per second, TOPS, which is three times that of the previous generation. What does this mean? For example, when you are doing 3D modeling, video rendering, or generative AI tasks, the speed will be so fast that it will make you question your life. Another very cool feature is that it supports a new technology called FP4 quantization. This technology compresses data size by reducing model precision, thereby reducing memory usage. For example, when generating AI images, using FP16 format may take 15 seconds, while using FP4 only takes 5 seconds. This is a lifesaver for developers who need to handle large-scale generative AI tasks. Finally, we have to mention its hardware specifications. This graphics card has up to 9.2 billion transistors, a base frequency of 2.01 GHz, and can boost to 2.41 GHz. Although the power consumption is as high as 575 watts, it is completely worth it for those pursuing extreme performance. In short, the RTX 5090 is not only a dream equipment for gamers, but also a powerful tool for creative workers and AI developers. Now let's talk about the potential impact of NVIDIA's new technologies on the entire industry, which can truly be said to be pulling a hair and moving the whole body. These technologies are not only a boon for tech enthusiasts, but also game changers for various industries in the future. So, what changes will they bring? First, the popularization of AI. In the past, devices like AI supercomputers were only affordable for top laboratories or large companies. But NVIDIA has brought these high-performance devices to the desktops of ordinary users by reducing costs and improving energy efficiency. For example, you no longer need to rely on the cloud, you can train an AI model like ChatGPT at home. 
The key behind this is NVIDIA's new chip architecture, such as the Blackwell GPU, which is not only powerful but also particularly energy efficient. According to NVIDIA's data, the energy consumption of these devices is more than 30% lower than that of traditional data centers. What does this mean? AI is no longer exclusive to a few. It is a tool that everyone can easily access. In addition, NVIDIA has launched a new generation of CUDA X accelerators that support more efficient parallel computing. This is especially important for education and small businesses, as they can finally enter the AI field at a lower cost. For example, a small startup can use these technologies to develop intelligent customer service systems without spending millions of dollars on cloud computing services. Second, the transformation of the manufacturing and logistics industries. NVIDIA is promoting what is called physical AI, which sounds very sci-fi, but in reality, it is already changing the manufacturing and logistics industries. Through the Omniverse platform, NVIDIA provides digital twin technology for factories and warehouses. This technology can simulate production lines in a virtual environment and then optimize them for application in reality. For example, Foxconn has used Omniverse to build a virtual factory in its Mexican plant to optimize robot operations and sensor layouts. They expect this approach to reduce energy consumption by 30% annually while improving production efficiency. In addition, in the logistics field, NVIDIA's physical AI is helping autonomous truck companies optimize route planning and cargo distribution. For example, Companies like Waymo and Too Simple are using NVIDIA technology for real-time data analysis, thereby reducing transportation time and fuel consumption. These technologies will fundamentally change the manufacturing and logistics industries, valued at up to $50 trillion. Third, market competition intensifies. Although NVIDIA has further consolidated its dominant position in the AI field with these innovations, competition is also intensifying. Competitors like AMD and Intel are quickly catching up. For example, Intel recently launched the Gaudi 3 accelerator chip, which is said to be cheaper and more suitable for inference tasks than some of NVIDIA's products. Not only that, but there are also some emerging players, such as Cerebras and Graphcore, which are developing large-scale parallel processing chips specifically designed for AI. According to market analysis, the global AI hardware market is expected to reach $500 billion by 2030, and this chip war has just begun. At the same time, NVIDIA is also expanding its ecosystem such as collaborating with Siemens to integrate Omniverse into industrial automation platforms. This cooperation not only enhances its market position but also further promotes the development of Industry 4.0. In short, NVIDIA's new technology is changing our way of life at an astonishing speed, whether it is making AI more accessible or driving the industrial revolution. Alright, after discussing so much about NVIDIA's new technologies, the question arises, how do you think these technologies will change our lives? For example, Will the AI supercomputer project digits enable everyone to become a data scientist? Will the RTX 50 series graphics cards make game graphics so realistic that people can't tell the difference between reality and virtual? More importantly, will these technologies become the key driving force for the future development of AI? Can they truly realize the vision of making AI ubiquitous as stated by NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang? See you next time.